Well, in just a few hours, the woman facing DUI charges after hitting and killing a JSO bailiff and injuring her family, the husband is in critical condition, is expected in court. That crash happened early Sunday morning on I-95. In two hours, 46-year-old Kim Johnson will face charges in that crash. JSO posted late last night that Kathy Adams passed away from her injuries. Her husband, JSO officer William Adams, goes by the name Jack, was critically injured. Troopers say that a couple's two teenagers were also in the car. They had minor injuries. Friends are asking for prayers as they come to terms with this tragedy. I'm praying for the children because, you know, both of their parents are, are just in a terrible situation. Super shocking. You know, someone that you know in that kind of situation, it's kind of crazy. I just don't really know what to do at this point, you know, something that can help with the family. We talked with friends who say the family was headed home from that Mandarin High School Championship football game when that deadly crash happened. And reaction is pouring in this morning following Kathy's tragic death. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joining us live from the St. Johns County Courthouse where Johnson is facing a judge this morning. Ashley. Yes, Melanie and Bruce, good morning. Johnson is facing that judge in just about two hours, but as the uh, justice process is just beginning, the grieving is also just beginning for the JSO family and law enforcement departments all over. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is mourning the death of 43-year-old Kathy Adams. Her husband, Jack, is still fighting for his life following the crash early Sunday. As the community comes to terms with this tragedy, several departments are expressing their grief and support. The Clay County Sheriff's Office tweeted, Tonight we display our mourning band as we send our heartfelt condolences, prayers, and support to our JSO family. A terrible crash occurred and we are heartbroken. We simply ask for your thoughts to be with them during this troubling time. And Atlantic Beach Police Department Chief Michelle Cook wrote this on Facebook. Please look at these faces. A drunk driver has tragically devastated this family. Kathy and Jack are still in the hospital. Don't drink and drive. Call me. I'll come get you. The Tallahassee Police Department also reached out saying on Twitter, we are so sorry to hear this news. Our deepest condolences to her family, friends, and all of you. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Family friends say the couple was returning from Orlando with their two children following the Mandarin High School State Championship game. They've been described as dedicated law enforcement officers. The loss is felt by many. And FHP says Kim Johnston is facing additional charges. No word yet on what those additional charges will be, but she's due here inside of St. John's County courtroom at 8 o'clock this morning. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.